Hello and welcome to the Z-Hut. Today we are going to take a look at the Silver Metal 3D Solutec PLA 3D Printing Filament. We're going to take this roll and we're going to print out a ton of models. We're not just going to print one Benchy or something like that to find out if is this trash or treasure. No, we're going to print a whole bunch of stuff. So I think the first thing we should do is go over to the printer, print out a temp tower. See what temperatures we should be running at for printing, and then we'll take a look at a bunch of models. So I'll catch you at the printer in just a second. So I went ahead and printed two temp towers. This one I printed at a speed of 50, and this one I printed at a speed of 60, just to see if there'd be any differences on the quality at the different speeds. And of course there was this one here at 60. As the temperature got up to the uh, 215, 220, the, the corners weren't as nice. But uh, other than that, um, not really any stringing that I'm noticing. And uh, the, the print quality is not bad at all. But uh, when you, I slowed the printer down to 50, it printed the whole range just beautifully. So I'm going to go ahead and for most of the, the models I printed, I just did... Um, speed at 50 but then I did jack it up and did one and we'll get to that in a little bit here but um looking at the the temp tower here I'm gonna say probably 195 to 200 that would be a good good range to be printing in the bridging is nice it's actually pretty good all the way down until you get to about 210 here and uh, the bridging ain't quite as good, but still nice. But other than that, uh, so far, this is printing beautifully. So <laughs> what I did next is I printed out a Benchy. And I printed that at the speed of 50 and a temperature of uh, 200. That turned out pretty good. Just a tiny bit of stringing in there, and I just had the default set in Kira. If I played with the, uh, the the settings for the retraction, I could probably get rid of that. The stringing is so minimal, but uh, I just left the settings at stock for this this review. So the bench he turned out good. So then I went ahead and I printed out a Bob Oom, and. Um, I did normally, I set the seam in the back. I forgot to do that, and that's why you can see little blisters here and there. That's just where the seam actually ended up. It was set on random. That was my fault, but it was almost, it was over halfway done printing, so I just let it go. Other than that, it turned out beautifully. The, uh, as you can see here, that peels right off. The brim just peels right off. And just one little imperfection down there between the legs. But that normally happens with any of the filaments I print one of these with. So next I tried something uh, a little interesting. I found this mechanical pliers on Thingiverse. It uses gears. And I once again printed this at a layer height of 2.2 and a uh, temperature of 200. And I took it off the print bed and it just, everything popped loose. This is printed in one piece. There's no assembly required. Works great. Turned out beautiful as well. So then I decided, well, let's try some models. So the first thing I printed out, I went on Thingiverse and I found this T800 model. And I scaled it down a little bit so it wouldn't take two days to print. And once again, I ran this uh, the speed of 50, temperature of 200, and uh, it turned out spectacular. 
spectacular. A little bit of stringing once again down here, but just a quick shot with my heat gun will most likely get rid of that. Uh, like I said, a little minor tweaking in the retraction, I'm pretty sure I could get rid of that. So then I went and I wanted to print something that had supports. So I found this alien head model. And uh, it had supports down here, and they came right off. Um, not too bad down here at all. Once again, printed great. Printed this layer height of 0.2 and a temperature of 200. So next I decided to print something a little bit bigger. And I went on Thingiverse and found this. You can find this on Thingiverse. They call it a fl Flaminium, Flaminium Malcolm. I'm pronouncing it right. They, of course, to avoid copyright issues, they changed two letters around. I'm sure you can figure that out. But if you go on Thingiverse, search for it, you can find this. It prints in two pieces. I glued it together. And this printed beautiful. Once again, I had it speed of 50, temperature of 200. And uh, there's a little bit of stringing back in here, just a tiny bit. Um... This, you didn't have to print with supports, but I did turn turn them on and set a high angle, so it just put a little bit of support on those feet in the satellite dish. Printed out spectacular. I really like this. So then I decided, well, let's crank the speed up and print another model and see what happens. And I also turned the temperature um, up just a little bit because we were printing a little faster and uh, this is printed at 0.2 and I'm sure everybody knows what this is that's a enterprise um, a real basic model I should have done some settings for where to put the seam I didn't that's why you see these little blisters that's where it decided to randomly place the seam but uh, I did print this a little faster and a little hotter and it prints in three pieces, or actually no, four pieces, the front saucer, back of the saucer, the middle, and the back. And I got a lot of stringing in here, a lot of stringing, but I was printing this fast. I, it was 60 or 65, and I had the infill turned up to 75, and I got a tiny bit of warping on the edges of the saucer, and that's stringing, but still, if... You were printing out, it wasn't a model, you were printing out like a, a closure or something. You could easily print at that speed and it would probably be fine. But uh, that's what I got when I turned the speed up. But I wanted to print one final model and I put the layer height down to 0.12. And I put the temperature down to 195. And I printed out this dragon. I forget the name of it right now but this is pretty popular print it's found on Thingiverse as well and this printed beautiful the detail is amazing and this silver metal filament just makes it look awesome it's pretty much flawless a little bit of stringing fine strings at the top of the wings and a little bit between the legs but other than that this turned out beautiful I've printed a few of these before in other filaments, but never had it turn out this good. I really am impressed with this filament. This, this stuff is awesome. On a scale of 1 to 10, I, I'm going to have to go the 10. It's just amazing. If uh, you just don't print super fast, and you don't have to print super hot, and it'll turn out perfect. Uh, your printer, the settings might be slightly different, but you should be about in the ballpark. And you can get beautiful models like this out of this stuff. I highly do recommend purchasing this filament. You can find it on Amazon. There will be an affiliate link in the description below if uh, you would like to go over and check out uh, it, what the current price is of it. And they do generally have this in stock. I checked over the past uh, week or two since I had originally got the filament and it took me a few days to print all this stuff so they still had it in stock and I actually ordered another spool because I printed out about half well not quite half of it but a good good portion of the spool making all these 
models for this product review. So all right, with that, we're going to go ahead and uh, wrap this up. So once again, I give this stuff a 10 out of 10, and I it has to be really good stuff to get a 10, and it's not very expensive. Uh, you'll find this around $13, $15 a spool. All right, thanks for joining us here today at the Z-Hut. I hope you found all this information useful. You did. Please give us a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it big time. So with that, I'll just say have a great day and have fun 3D printing.